everybody welcome to Ray Ray's place in the bathroom and of course we're not doing normal well I guess it's somewhat normal bathroom stuff I guess just won't be using anything over in this general area but uh, here today we are going to try another mask because I love masks and I do get a lot of people in my real life and on other social medias to ask me so how'd that mask work out for you because People were scared to try out masks. And for somebody that's got very oily, well, it's it's mainly combination skin right now. When summer comes, it's going to be extremely oily, like, look like an oil slick after a couple minutes after washing my face. Um, so I do have some dry spots, and it is very sensitive skin. We are going to try the Bio Republic Skin Care Pomegranate Crush Illuminating Fiber Sheet Mask. There will be before and after pics. I'm trying to get real good on putting that on there. Um, this is supposed to be dermalo dermatologist tested, formulated without parabens, and it's cruelty free. And let's see. It brightens and energizes skin tone, evens and smooths complexion for a radiant, fresh, and balanced skin. We all want that. It's supposed to be easy to use and no mess. The biodegradable fiber mask that snugly fits the contours of your face, ensuring opti optimal <laughs> delivery of vital nutrients of skin. It's too early in the morning for me to be reading this. Basically, you need to wash your face first, you know, unfold the mask, put it on clean skin. Um, it says wear the mask and relax for 15 to 20 minutes. I... We'll be scrolling and watching a lot of the subscribers that I'm subscribed to's YouTube videos during this time being, so I guess it's relaxing. And in the end, you're supposed to just remove, massage, excess serum into skin, no need to rinse. We'll find out there's some masks like that that you can rub all you want and it still feels like a gunky mess on your face. There's some ladies and men, gentlemen out there that understand that situation. Um... Of course, they have the warnings of do not use on broken or irritated skin, discontinue it. Use immediately and seek medical assistance if you experience any redness, irritation, sensitivity, or allergic reaction of any kind. I, for one, am allergic to coconuts and bees. So, there will be some times I will be trying stuff out. As long as it's on the skin, I can take some Benadryl. The hives will go down. If I ingest it, I'm going to hit the floor. <laughs> Um, so this is what it looks like, and we will get to putting it on. That was goofy. All right, um, moment of truth. This thing held up pretty good. Even, you know, looking down at my phone, watching YouTube, I actually went 30 minutes instead of the 15 or 20. That's normally me. I get sucked in. Um, it's still kind of wet and tacky up here. Usually I'd let that completely dry so it could all sink into my skin. But... I have things to do today, so I can't do that. Uh, moment of truth. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm peeling my skin off. No. This has got like a light floral fragrance. I mean, it looks shiny right now, but there's stuff, serum still on my face. We'll see if this needs to be rinsed off. Here is some of them that does. Usually when I rub that serum in, there's a lot of times I want to wipe my hands off on a wet rag because they just get sticky too. A 
Okay, I had to let that dry down for a little bit. And during that time, I did do my after pick. It did stay a little tacky on my forehead and my cheek areas. The rest of it was dry. So I did kind of pat a wet cloth all over my face, you know, basically in the spots that was sticky and then patted a dry towel across it. Now it's fine. Um, my face feels very smooth and nice. It's not sticky no more. And it does have some shine to it. So I'm hoping you guys can see that in the before and after pics. Like I, I'm looking at it now. This morning I look a little rough when I first started this video. Um, if you're extremely dry skin, this would probably be awesome for you. Because it would really bring a shine out. Now, I have oily skin, so I don't know how this is going to hold up later on today. If this shine that it's brought on is going to make it look 10 times worse once my oils start pushing through. But that's why I do a mud mask or a clay mask in between my paper masks. Because it kind of keeps the oils at bay for me. Because I do have extremely, extremely oily skin. Um, but so far so good. Not a bad mask. In 24 hours I might leave a comment down below that's pinned. To let you know if anything happens. If in, nothing happens, then there won't be a pinned comment. But that is all I have for you guys today. What would you think of this mask? Would you use it? I mean, it does have a light floral perfume smell for it. Um, but it's not over extreme. It's really light. It's kind of like, uh, like a bathroom deodorizer smell. Like it's light. It's there, but it's not tremendous and using my hands to pat that in my hands don't even smell like it so that's an a plus uh but anyways that is all i have for you guys today if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe hit the like button send me some love in the comments and i will see you all later